amazing host and host and he's gonna have many more amazing people on his show yeah. and I just hope that you guys grow with him on his journey and you know we never know how big this is gonna get so yeah. let's just see where you take this take this juice to an oh 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 all right kale ke tuka mo le ke tuka mo le le dipino ke na le ngwa ga tsa tharo ke betsa comedy marapo video la me ke go felo ke batla go tshona le tempo ke batla go tshona khalefo ke spana ka tata ke tindo 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 ya tindo ya tindo Speaking of B-Dub and speaking of all things fitness, I need you to put your hands together and help me welcome my guest this morning who's looking quite beautiful. And everybody couldn't stop talking about it. It's like, oh my goodness. And the first thing she said was like, you know what? I understood the assignment because when we were speaking, I was like, yo, we got cameras. So you might want to. We suggest that you, you know. <laughs> and she understood the assignment. I'm talking about none other than the fitness girl herself. Fitness Kenny, put your hands together. Oh yeah. Good morning and welcome to the Juice 2.0. Morning, TK. How you doing? I'm good. I'm yeah? good. No complaints. No complaints. Yeah. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> <laughs> It's already February and uh are you one of those people that get tired of the Happy New Year after a while? After the 2nd of January. Are you serious? Yeah. That's enough happy new year. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that's so February, well, I guess for for people that haven't seen each other in a year, you could still say happy new year, right? But still, like January is like three months on its own, so <laughs> <laughs> that was long enough. I appreciate you for coming to the show. Uh this was supposed to happen last year, by the way. And uh a few reschedulings had to happen here and there, but I always believe that all things happen when they need to happen. And uh you're one person who we have been very very interested to sit down and have a conversation with because you are fitness candy. So let's start here. Who is fitness candy? Let's start with the government name. <laughs> let's start with the government. Okay, my government name surprisingly it's Candy. Oh, uh, yeah. Candy Horata Zongwani. Those are my full names. Yeah. <laughs> Where do you come from? Matangwani, so I'm Kalanga. Ah, beautiful. Yeah. Well, stop. When was the last time you were home? Why do you have to ask that? <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, I'm I'm sorry. I don't remember. Are you kidding me? I think I just don't have a good enough reason to go there. Oh, uh, families this side of oh, the yeah, country. Oh yeah, yeah. So, okay. Yeah. I can I can understand that. Yeah. I can understand that. <laughs> well, you're on the show because of fitness. You are this young lady that we see on our Facebook doing her thing. On our Instagram doing her thing, you actually have a business business around fitness and personally I love seeing what you do and you make it look so easy. And we needed to have a conversation. So let's let's talk about how you became fitness candy. Why the fascination about fitness? Where did it start? Okay, it wasn't really planned. Uh -huh. I think I was around 19, 20. Yeah. When I started working out and when I say working out, it was like 5, 10 minutes. I had my reasons why because uh, as a female the older you get yeah things change <laughs> of course yeah so th things started changing and I thought oh okay if I start doing setups I can sort out the little timey yeah issue and well I liked the the progress I liked what I saw mm -hmm. so I just started posting a couple of pictures at the at the time there was no fitness candy yeah there was no fitness candy at all And then fast forward maybe five years later, 2016, mm -hmm. a friend of mine suggested since you like posting pictures of your progress, why not have a page? She actually named it, and then she was my camera lady wow. and director. <coughs> so yeah, that's how it happened. Beautiful. So since 2016. Yeah, since 20, there's been fitness candy since 2016. So I started sharing videos, pictures. Tips, advice, and all that. Yeah, yeah. So because because then you started doing that. How long how long is the journey? Because my math, ish, my math is this is twenty seven years. Yeah, that's how long it's been. Give or take. Yeah. How would you describe that journey since you started? It's it's been interesting because I'm I'm introverted, so the attention was something 
Yeah. New. Yeah. And I wasn't sh- so sure about it. I wasn't right. so sure about it, but I realized that every time I talk about fitness, it's different. It's exciting. It's relaxing. I could go on and on and oh, on. Yeah. So it's different oh, yeah. from other conversations. So I actually, actually love it. And it sort of pushes me. I yeah. feel like I can't slack. Ah. Because, uh, I have a daughter, a toddler. She's almost two now. Oh, that's beautiful. What's her name? What's her name? Her name is Yana. Yana. Yeah. Lovely. So, even after, even during pregnancy, I worked out. Even after pregnancy, I worked out. I saw a few videos. I saw a few videos. I was was like, whoa, (laughs) this is some other, other levels. But, and then we see the body that you have right now. It's like, did you, did you really give birth? I'm sure you get that a lot from a lot of people, <laughs> uh, your clients or people just watching from your social media videos. Yeah. You don't look like you gave birth at all. What's the, what's the, is it just fitness or what else are you doing that keeps you as sexy, as good looking as you are and in, <laughs> and in shape? I think it's cause I worked out before pregnancy, yeah. during pregnancy and yeah. after pregnancy. So most people start working out after the baby. Ah. Not that it's too late, but you have to put in more effort and it's going to take a bit longer. Right, right, so, right. Yeah, so, yes. I think that's it. I think that's it. Working and out. I'm consistent. I always tell people consistency goes a long way. Yeah, we'll talk about that because that's, <laughs> that's really part of your trademarks, consistency, because a lot yeah. of people want the results, but the consistency is like at the back. So it doesn't really work. But let's talk about when you started to make this a business, right? Okay. You've been posting on social media since 2016. Obviously, you get some traction. People are loving it. Uh, then you start getting clients, right? Mm-hmm. What was that point? What was that moment that you decided, hey, let's make money out of this? <laughs> okay. Back to 2016. Uh-huh. So I was giving away advice for free and all that. Yeah. Fast forward two years later, <laughs> I get the same... I, I, I had been getting the same request. Um, Don't you train people? Can't you come train me? Pretty please. This and that. And uh, people kept pushing me. Like, why don't you train? Why don't you make money out of it? And friends, um, followers and all that. So eventually I did. I did a short course. A short course in personal training. Dope. Yeah. And that's when I decided, okay, now I'm ready. Now I'm confident to actually... Oh, yeah. Train an actual human being. <laughs> so, yeah. That's the, and then I started doing one-on-one sessions, personal ah, training. Ah. But the thing is, I have a day job. So, I had to do that before work and after work. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, what do you do? What do you do uh, without mentioning? I, I hear you are with, uh, is it an insurance or life covered uh, yeah, service provider? Yeah, insurance company. Insurance company. Yeah. Uh, what do you do there? Uh, I'm a premium administrator. Oh, dope. Collections, basically. Amazing. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna we're gonna talk after this because I I need that. <laughs> <laughs> I need that in my life. Seven thirty eight is your time. You're on the Juice Two Point Oh. We're just chilling. We're just hanging with this. Yo, dude, you're sexy. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> Candy. <laughs> you're like, do you even know that about yourself? I'm not bad. <laughs> Man, <you are> modest. <laughs> fitness candies in the building and we're just talking about all things fitness please text us on 14962 with your questions they could actually ask you questions around fitness right yeah that's fine and we can have a conversation please call us on 3956962 and for your whatsapps plus 2673956962 if not a question hey how about you just call and say hey candy what's going on you're on the just 2.0 conversations be dub fitness be right back after a short musical and an ad break you know, you're on the Juice 2.0. We're chilling with Fitness Candy. And we're back. So tell me about the kind of music that you listen to. Because I played I Won't Tell right there. And I think I saw you moving a little bit. Is that your kind of music? I love old school R&B. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Like old school, old school. 80s, 80s. 90s, early 2000s. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought you meant like, yeah, but that's old school R&B. Who was your favorite? Who is your favorite? I don't necessarily have a favorite. Maybe I love listening to Boys Two Men, Casey and Jojo. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's dope. Uh, Casey and Jojo, close to me like my mother sloping on a. You were the only. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, some of your body goals, by the way, this year are to lose a few inches around your waist, drop a few kilos, and tone your thighs. How's that coming up? 
Um, it's a bit slow. I don't know why. Probably because I'm older now. Because ah. it used to be easier when I was in my mid twenties. How old are you now? I'll be thirty one in June. Thirty one. Yeah. Dude, you look twenty two, <laughs> twenty three. But so, anyway, yeah. Yeah. Now it's a bit harder. I've, I've I've noticed that it's it's harder. It it, it requires more effort, especially the diet bit of it yeah yeah so it requires more effort i have to sort of watch what i eat i have to put in more effort so right yeah i still haven't made any progress this year honestly it's still february so you know yeah but i started january first <laughs> <laughs> well progress is good uh perfection is another thing we're yeah. talking off air uh by the way, so tell us tell us exactly how you feel about the conversation on the numbers that we gave to you. We're talking off air, Candy. And I was saying, watching your videos, I had felt at some point you are sort of at a head start with this whole fitness thing. Because you kind of have a body type that doesn't really blow up. And then you started talking about your belly, uh, that if you eat the wrong stuff and you stop working out, then your belly is going to, you know, blow up. And your booty is going to become... because. Tell me what you say in your words, in your please, in your words. Okay, I do have a. Okay, here's my body type. My the upper bit is naturally small, like yeah. I have small. Can I say boobs? Yeah. Yeah. You can. I have small boobs, right. and the circumference, I think, yeah, my waist is naturally small. Oh yeah. But I do gain fat, especially lower belly fat. You know, oh. like women have a problem with that. That flap, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it's really, really, really hard to get rid of. So if I don't watch what I eat, if I don't work out, it, I do get that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but the upper bit is just naturally small. That I'll admit. Yeah. My lower body, on the other hand, is is a bit bigger and it easily gains weight. <laughs> so. <laughs> and we love it. But there should be a limit. <laughs> <laughs> so, on Gabs from this morning is, should there be a limit to a booty size or not? <laughs> Can we do this in the morning, early in the morning? It's like, is there a limit? <laughs> so, you're actually telling me that it could get bigger and you don't like that sometimes. Yeah, I feel like I'm comfortable with a certain size. I don't want it to get oh, yeah. bigger than it is right now. So, yeah. yeah. I feel you. I feel you on that. And I'm trying to tone it as well. You know, fun, funny enough, as much as pregnancy does the most to your abdomen and other and other parts, yeah, it actually, in some cases, maybe most cases, it makes your butt sag. Ah. So that's what I'm fighting right oh, now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've made great progress because it's course, been yeah. almost two years, so... Yeah, 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 So I have to lift it off the ground and all that. Is that a... <laughs> lift it off the ground? <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't need help with that. Um, what kind of exercises do you do to make sure that, you know, it's not saggy anymore? Uh, obviously, with your clients as well, we'll talk about the lady clients that you have yeah. and what some of their goals really are... Uh, but yeah, what kind of exercises do you do to make sure that at least you get those kind of goals? Just regular basic lower body exercises, lunges, lunges squats, squatting. and also I use more weights than before I had a child. Ah. Before that, I used body weight and that was more than enough for me. But right, now right, I use right. actual loose weights. Okay. Yeah, like dumbbells, kettlebells, <sighs> and Ooh. bags and the like. They're yeah. not that heavy. Yeah, the yeah. heaviest weight I have is 20 kgs. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah. That's not bad. Not trying to look a certain way. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. I'm in the gym too, so I know exactly what you mean. Yes. So tell me about your lady clients, Candy. Yes. What would you say is the most looked for, searched for, sought for goal uh, among most of them? Back then, yeah. it was a flat tummy. Okay. Now, now. it's a bigger butt. <laughs> See, I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> it just changed just like that. It felt like it changed overnight. What's going on, though? Because even the ladies in the gym, that's pretty much most of the focus. What's going on, Candy? I, I don't know. Everybody wants a big butt. I think it's maybe because of the whole BBL thing that's been ah, happening in yeah. mostly Western countries. Of course, yeah. So now everybody yeah. wants a butt. So people mostly inbox me and ask me, how do I get a butt? Yeah, that's like the Jeez. question that I get the most. How do, how I, do get I get a, get butt? a butt? How do I get a flat tummy without losing my butt? That's so, crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. How do you feel about BBLs? 
Yeah, I don't. I, I don't have a problem with plastic yeah. surgery as long as it, it looks natural. <laughs> it, has to, it has to look natural. Yeah, hey, it can't be as like much, whoa. Yeah, because some of the ones I've seen questionable. Questionable. Yeah. Yeah, in B dub. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. All right. Ooh, I, was, I haven't seen any. I, was, I haven't seen any in B dub. Yeah. Guys, have you seen any? Please call us, please, you know, or not. And you how know. do you know? Yeah. How? how yeah. <laughs> good. Good question. Good question. Tell me about supplements. The good, the bad, the ugly. Do you use them? Do you advise your clients to use them? Are they good for them? Are they not? Wait, I haven't done much research on those. Okay. I currently don't use any, any supplements. Right. Yeah, right. but I've. Seen a lot of people use the protein ones. I protein. believe those are those are okay. Yeah, 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 I believe those are okay. I mean, you have to do your research, of course, you have to do your research of and all that. But you still have to put in the work. That's oh, yeah. one thing that people usually forget to do. You can get a product to assist you with, <laughs> but you still have to put in the work. You, you still, still gotta grind. You still gotta grind. <laughs> yes, and eat right. That's very important. Yeah, eat yeah. right. I like that. So it looks like you're just chilling with ladies when you're doing your things. Are you training brothers as well? Do you have clients that are male? Honestly, I've never trained men. Okay. Oh, okay besides a group setting, like at, at an event. Oh, yeah. 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 So, but I've never done one on one with a man. Right, right, right. Yes. Okay. Well, uh, can we try? <laughs> can I sign up? <laughs> sure. <laughs> I'm, I'm, yeah. <laughs> I need to sign up today. Because woo, woo candy, <laughs> looking like candy this way. Eight fifty seven fifty one is your time on the Juice Two Point More candy right after this, right here. Some AKA in your system is not alone. Coolie China is on it, and Pro rest in peace. We're still chilling with Candy in the building. This fitness candy for all things fitness, for all things your meals, how important it is to stay fit this year, 2023. And she's a specialist. And I actually needed to ask you, Candy, do you have a specialty as a fitness trainer? Do you have some areas that you feel you are strictly uh, fitness candy? Like if you count on me, then hey, I got you on this, or you're all rounded. Um, for the longest time, I think it was mostly core workouts. Core workouts. Yeah, because Dope. I got booked a lot for, or Fitness Candy will be giving you abs, ab workouts. That's dope. So I did that for the longest time, but I'd much rather be... A wholesome, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. all round yeah. uh, fitness trainer. Yeah. So there's fitness, which is great for your body, but then there's also spiritual life. Is there anything like that in your life? Spiritual life as in what? Uh, God, church, uh... No, Does I don't go to church. Okay. Yeah. But you're a spiritual person? Am I? I think the older I get, I start... You start questioning things? <laughs> <laughs> so that's how it's been for the past maybe two years. Two years? Yeah, so I'm just trying to figure things out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so fitness life, great. Spiritual life, we'll talk about it next time we have a whole hour at the <laughs> podcast. Uh, love life. How's that looking for you? <laughs> Sadly, I just saw your face drop. <laughs> I didn't actually think you'd ask on air. We're trying to find out who you are. You know, it's like, you know, fitness, great life, uh, spiritual life, love life, like a whole human being. <laughs> so, you know, tell us. Um, well, I don't kiss and tell. Okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I, can, I can respect that. I can respect that. Um, what other life is there? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Look, Valentine's is coming. What's the plan? Do you celebrate Valentine's? Yeah. Yeah? Well, I, I hope I get a surprise. Oh, yeah. What happened the last time? Last year, 14th February. I don't think I got anything. I didn't. Oh, a friend. Just a the friend. friend friend. Okay. Got me something and took me out on a date because no one took me out on a date. On a date. Yeah. A male friend? A gay male friend. Ah, okay. Yeah. It was like, oh, was just... <laughs> <laughs> so he took me out on a date the next day on the 15th. Oh, that's beautiful. And then he got me a gift. I didn't expect that. So that was nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, pretty, that's pretty nice. I mean, as a lady on a, on the 14th, you expect to be, you know, pampered a little bit. Yeah, but I was just home. You're chilling. And then I went to work, then I went home. Yeah. Yeah. Well, how about this time around? You know, we never ever get anything as gentlemen. Have you actually ever bought a gentleman something on on Valentine's? Yeah, the oh, one no. before last year's. One before last year's. Yeah. What'd you do? What'd you do? I just got a gift. A really nice gift. Did he appreciate it? 
He did. He, he put it to good use. That's nice. Yeah. That's, <laughs> nice. That's nice. Fitness Candy, sadly, we don't have a lot of time. We need to talk about so much more about your business, yeah? Mm-hmm. Especially the challenges there is. Actually, let's try to squeeze it. squeezing in. Let's try to squeeze that in real quick, yeah? yeah? Because you have made a business, a very successful one, by the way. Congratulations on Thank that. Thank you. On your fitness uh, career and your passion to, to be fit and therefore spread it out to everyone else that becomes your client. But tell me about the atmosphere in B-Dub. What is the competition? What are the challenges? Blah, blah, blah. Real quick before we wrap up. Okay, com- the competition bit, I wouldn't say... Uh, I do something different. Okay. Uh, well, the other t- female trainers, mm-hmm. I think it's probably it's a bit easy for me because I have a certain body type. So maybe ah, that's how I get lines. Yeah. Some of the female trainers have a different, totally different body, body type, type from me. So yeah. I think usually you get like cli- sometimes clients inquire based on how you look as a trainer. Ah, yeah. So that's how I get clients. I think that's how I would want to be tra- uh, I would want to <laughs> choose my, my trainer, you know, like, bro, how are you looking? <laughs> you can't give yeah. me what you don't have. The, the hard bit is, uh, Remember when I said I started off giving tips and whatnot and yeah. posting like whole workouts right. on my page. So now that is what people expect still. But now it's, I, I don't have the time. I mean, I have a job. I have yeah. a child. Yeah. Uh, I need to eat. Yeah. So I need to make money. People still expect free stuff from me. So I get a lot of requests. Um, People send me their numbers. Oh, please send me an app video. One of your app videos. For free? Yeah. So nah. that I get that a lot. So I don't want to do free things anymore because it yeah. takes a lot of my time now of that course. I don't have that. Of course. So I think that's the biggest. They still expect that they feel entitled. It's really hard. Yeah. Yeah. I hope it changes because you're you're given a service that they won't get from anywhere else. Yeah. That's why they're hitting you up. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So how about they should be an exchange? Exactly. You know, for all of that. Exactly. Do people, uh, most of your clients, better question, right? Do you think ladies prefer lady uh, female trainers more than male trainers or vice versa? In your, exper- in your experience, yeah, male trainer. They prefer female trainers. Pre- oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Because sometimes if I'm not available to offer a certain service, and mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, I know a guy, and then I try to give them contacts, yeah, contacts. and all, like, no, but I. I yeah. was sort of hoping because <laughs> I want a female. Do you know any other female than that? Uh, Give them a female's number. That I would be comfortable with a female trainer. Right, right, yeah. right. So, Candy, thank you so much for stopping by the Juice 2.0. The time is such a jealous thing, <laughs> but it, I think we, we managed to get a few things that we needed to know about you. Mm-hmm. But like I say, there's so much more. So, how about we have a part two one of these good days and we can talk about everything else that we couldn't talk about today? Definitely. Where can people find you real quick if they want to get your services? Okay. uh, I have a page on Facebook, Fitness Candy, and then another one on Instagram, Fitness Candy BW. Awesome. And then they can contact me on 72116115 or candyzone at gmail.com. Amazing. That number one more time. 72116115. Amazing. Thank you so much. God bless. God bless your hustle. Until next time, sis. Thank you. Bye. All right. 801. That's how you do it. Fitness, fitness, fitness. It's a brand new year. Trust me. If that was one of your resolutions, it's not too late. I know it's February, but you hit her up. She helps you with this and that. Fitness strong, all that stuff. Fitness candy, check her out on her socials. For now, we step into another conversation. Ugh, it's a hot one. You don't want to go nowhere. Stay juicy. What's going on, YouTube? My name is TK of the Juice 2.0. I'm just here to say thank you very much for checking our video and click subscribe, like, and the notification button for more content just like that.